So, is the iPod Touch 5th generation good on iOS 6 today? The iPod Touch 5 has been around for 5 years now, and I'm going to see what it was like on its original firmware, iOS 6. So as I show you now that it is on iOS 6, there are some things that you need to keep in uh, mind. Um, firstly, that this is jailbroken, not the iOS 6, but the iOS 9 it was running on. And this is using Cool Booter, meaning that it may not be the full version, and you only get roughly about 20 gig of the 32 gig you've bought. So the first thing we're going to be using it down as, as a music player. Now the iPod was actually built to be a music player, however it has grown to have like App Store, and it has such games, iOS 9, and, it's, and a good camera. It's just built on from there, meaning that, yes, this was actually going to just be a music player. It even has its own tint thing on the volume rocker, which is really cool. Next up is the camera, which really isn't that great. You can see the pixels when taking photos. And it has got like old iOS 6 stuff, but it just really isn't great. And like every other iDevice, it does have a photos app, which is, again, it's old. It does have places where you can see where you are. But yeah, it isn't set out the greatest and you can see the really bad photos. Next up is the, probably the moment you've been waiting for, is the games and apps. Now, most commonly when I did try and install a good app, it did come up with this. This application requires iOS so-and-so or later, which is really annoying and does stop newer versions of apps being installed. It also did come in different colours, I have the silver one right here, but it doesn't work. But we would just have the same experience that we did have today, complete rubbish, so... Thank you for watching, please do like and subscribe, and the last thing is, it really isn't worth buying an iProtect 5th generation on iOS 6 in 2018.